In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different Horns basketball plays that incorporate a screen and roll. So let's get down, let's check that out, but really quickly, if you are a high school basketball coach or coach an elite youth basketball team, make sure to go check out my Horns Complete Playbook that is down in the description below. And if you like the idea of me drawing on this app, the app is down in the description below as well. Okay, so in this first play, we have both of our bigs in that high post. We have a guard and a forward down in the corners and obviously our point guard up at the point. What we're gonna start with is a very simple play. We're gonna have player one dribble out towards this right side. And then at the same time, we are going to have player five set the pin down screen, most likely right about there. And then player four is going to set up that staggered screen. Coming off of this staggered screen, player three may be able to go right to the point. He may be able to cut to that point. I would personally try and have him go in a straight line if possible or to make sure to use those screens depending on what his defender is doing. Either way, we want him to get to the point. Player one at this time is going to then pass that ball over to player three. And when this happens, he is going to set a pin down screen on player two. Player four is going to be using or setting a pin down screen on player five as well. And player five is going to go to the high post and player two is going to go to the wing. At this time, we want player four to be sealing his man. Player one will be rolling out towards the three point line. Player three is going to have two different options. He's going to be looking to pass to player five or to player two. If it goes to player two, he should be looking to then set that three point shot up. Player five could be looking to score or because player four is sealing his man, this may be a high to low post pass for player four to score. This is kind of a, a simple play at the high school level to be able to run and it's actually a very solid play overall. Another great play, and this one I use myself both at the high school level and even at the U12 level, which is 11U in the States, we would call it for, let's say, player two. Player two is going to use both player four and five as a screen, and player three is going to clear out to the opposite side. When this happens, our number one option is to pass to player two. If player two gets that ball, he should be looking to either shoot or drive to the rim. If neither of those options are open, we're going to have player five set that screen for player two, and at the same time, player four and player one are going to be setting up a staggered screen for player three. Player two is coming off of the screen, player five is going to roll, so that now there's two options. Player two passes to three, or can pass to player five, or score himself. If, however, instead, We'll go back to where we were after player two uses that screen and three clears out. If this is all covered, player one can pass to player three. Player three can score or shoot. After this pass is made, we want player four to set the blind pig screen, the back screen, on player one. And this may also be an option as well. If the pass goes to either player four or player five, very simple because let's say player three and player two are covered, but we can still get the pass into these guys. If player one passes to five, player four is going to set the back screen. Player one is going to cut. If the pass goes instead to player four, player five sets the back screen, player one cuts. It's kind of a great backup option. Every single player has an option depending on where we pass that ball. I really like this play. Now, this next play is ran quite often at the youth level, middle school level up here in Canada. Player one will dribble to the left or right side. It doesn't matter, but let's say he dribbles to the right side just for argument's sake. Player two and three will go into the post. And if player one dribbles to this right side, player two is going to set the screen for player three and player three is going to pop out. And at the same time, after he sets the screen, he is going to lift through players four and five. This is going to be an elevator screen. Now player one has two different options. He can pass to player two or player three. The number one option generally is player two. However, that pass to player three could be open depending on what happens to the defense down here. Player five could also slip the screen and he may be an option too, depending on what his defenders are going to be doing and how they're playing him. One of the most easiest plays, and I run this with every single team I have ever coached, except for the first team when I was like 18 years old, and I coached younger than that too, but just overall, 
at the elite level when I was 18. Player four and player five are going to be setting that screen up on player one. And then player one is going to make the decision. Does he go right? Does he go left? If he goes right, then player five rolls and player four stays up top. Now player one would have two options to pass to player five. He can also pull the shot as well, or he can pass to player four. I also have added a new part to this play. So while that may be the fourth play that I showed you, this is the fifth play because this is an addition onto what I just showed you. So four and five, they'll set that screen up top. If player one goes right, obviously he can shoot, he can drive, he can pass the player five who's rolling, whatever it may be. Player five rolls, he needs to clear out to the opposite side. Player two is going to lift. Now we have moved into the five out offense. However, player one is going to continue his momentum and go towards the corner. This is going to then turn into a dribble handoff in the corner. Player one sets that dribble handoff. He rolls to the basket. Player three could also attack, shoot, whatever. If it's not enough, no options are there. Player one is going to clear out to this side and player three is going to do a dribble handoff with player four. At this time, player three is going to roll off, two is going to rotate up, five is going to lift, three is going to clear out. Obviously, player four could pass to player three. Once all this happens, we will then have player one set that screen because now it's a small on big screen, very rare in basketball. So anytime we can get a massive mismatch, let's say in this case a one on four, you could also do a one on five screen. Either way, player four is going to attack that baseline. Player one is going to short roll to the high post. What we are hoping for is for the defense to switch. That way we get player one's man on player four. This would be a size mismatch and player four should be able to get to that rim for the layup. So make sure to go check out my Horns playbook that is down in the description below. If you like the idea of me drawing on this app, the app is down there as well. It's called Playbook. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys again in my next video.